Hello everyone, this is Ron again with Strangely Normal, and this is episode 5 of my full playthrough of Silent Hill 3 for the PS2. If you'll recall, uh, I made it to the Hilltop Center, and I ended last episode with getting this sweet, sweet weapon, the Katana. Yeah, look at that. And I also opened this drawer with a screwdriver and got a rope. Oh, that's the man, not what I'm looking for. But I got this rope here. And uh, so I'm trying, hoping to finish this, this area up and move on. And if you recall right now, currently as Heather, I am trying to get back to Heather's apartment after some freakiness went on in the mall. I'm going to actually take a look at the map here. Uh, it's been a little bit since I have recorded this, so let me see here. I think I might just do a little bit of exploring and uh, see where it takes me, I guess. Okay. There's a door down here that I haven't tried apparently. Uh, it's a door over here. Now at this point, Heather's kind of going back and forth between the alternate versions of things. And of course, the lock is broken. The gallery room. So I gotta. I do have a walkthrough. Um, I have to. I have been using that to assist me here in actually making my through this game. I think I need to go this way here. Most enemies I'm just trying to avoid because uh, a lot of them are rather difficult to fight. So I'd rather just not even bother with them than attempt than uh, lose a bunch of health trying to fight them. Oh, this is back outside. Hey, wait a minute. Let me back in here. There we go. Do not want to deal with that. Okay, so I went the wrong direction to go to the stairwell. And I gotta admit, I do kind of like this sort of setting because uh, cause they're showing it kind of messed up and it's just, you know, it's one of those things where it's just like, where it's just like, oh, you know, normally this place would probably be pretty ordinary overall, but the fact that it's like this, like, shifting into this, like, alternate version and there's monsters and it's just all dark and such, actually really, it kind of, it makes it not only more scarier, but also goes through your head a little bit, just uh, just because once again it's one of those things where it's just like it takes the normal and just makes it very abnormal, and uh, that's really where I guess real sort of horror comes from. It's something that I feel that uh, games have kind of lost over the years. Like they think that scariness is just kind of constantly jumping in your face. Um, or you know maybe having blood everywhere there's not there's not blood and guts everywhere all over this place it's just dark and it looks a little bit kind of decrepit that's pretty and there's some monsters that's pretty much it there's not there's not just blood all over the place or messed up monsters everywhere it, there's there's almost it's it's almost like the environments sort of have their character like like a little bit of a character of their own um, and I actually do think that's kind of neat. And, and there's also a bunch of little effects that help, like uh, the 
the uh, the film grain effect is used well in this game. I've seen some games try it, and it just looks really dumb. Um, looks just kind of... It's like it looks really dumb. Sometimes there isn't any need for it. It just it, but it, and, and you can tell they're obviously trying to use it to enhance the horror, but every time I see it, it never really seems to enhance the horror for me. It just kind of looks dumb. Okay, where am I supposed to go now? I'm trying to get into the auto parts area. This is where I got the katana. And it's funny because, you know, with the preset camera angles, um, they can be kind of a pain, but also in Silent Hill, uh, one thing that they did is there's a button you can use to look around the environment and in many places you can use that to center the camera right behind Heather which I think uh, if they were ever going to kind of return to the old style and actually try and make it scary um, that is how I think they should do it oh, this is the door I need apparently You know, I'm gonna kill this thing. Come on, you. Oh man. Just beat, just rip that thing apart. Actually, with this, it seems like the most useful property of its attacks is the fact that um, that when I hit something, it does she doesn't stop or swing. Ugh. So did I take any? I'm still doing okay for health. I'll use one of these. Just be on the safe side. The most useful thing about this is that it's quick and uh, her attacks don't look like they can be interrupted very easily. Hey. Oh, jeez. Ow. Oh, get up. die because there's something important in this room that I need okay come on Stay dead. Oh, there's actually nothing in this room. Great. Okay, 
there to go in here or something? Okay, hold on. I don't think I've been in here. I don't remember it. Oh, a jack. So I apparently need that. Yeah, I think I went in here and I didn't notice that jack. So I basically just need to remember to go get that jack. Now I can go back to the stairwell. back down to the third floor. Oh, so this is where I use the jack. Okay, that actually makes a little bit of sense. Yes, I'll use the rope to get downstairs. So now I am on the fourth floor. Can I unlock this door? Oh, it's a save point. That is cool. So I will save, because I've made some progress. Check the elevator. Uh, what a bother to climb up the rope. Yeah, I'll just strand myself somewhere. It's fine. That lock's broken. See, that is one thing that's actually kind of aggravating because it's just, it's like, it's like, you know, if there's going to be all these doors, yeah, it's like there's going to be all these doors, like, you should make them places you can go. You. What is it that you're noticing, Heather? Your head is focusing intently on something. Beef jerky, hooray!
some sort of display. Okay, so I unlocked that door if I want to go out that way. Okay. Why would you expect that to work, Heather? There's no plumbing connection to it. I knew it. Leave. That's not cool. <coughs> yeah, what is this? going into the other world or alternate version here it's being invaded by the other by the world. other world the world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life why is it echoing and that's not my audio either that's the game that's doing that because uh, I'm doing I'm listening to the audio on headphones Again. Man, it's so gross. Did she do this too? Oh, she seems aggravated about it, which is more than some of the other <laughs> Silent Hope protagonists can <laughs> can can say. And Harry Mason and James Tunnel just seem more confused. She's just like, oh, what the hell is this shit? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? It's like a mouth on some sort of like pulsating thing? Oh man, that is gross. This is definitely the alternate hilltop center. Oh, ooh, handgun bullets. Ah, oh, jeez, come on. See, it's funny because, because even though nowadays, like I said, this would be pretty standard. Like, like this is actually like disturbing and unsettling because I just went through the same area, but. Oh, hold on, I didn't want to take an elevator. No, I just want to turn around and leave. I'm assuming it's the same floor that I was on. Hold on. Where was I? I was on the second floor. Let's go back there. I was not done there.
interesting how the how the elevator essentially locks you in until you pick a floor. Yeah, that monster seems kind of messed up. I'm not worrying about it though. Okay. There's something here. You're right, Heather. That is really creepy. And hey, look, another save point. It's locked, of course, it's locked. Another save. It's really weird. There seems to be a whole bunch of save points all at once now. No, who's this guy? Why are you just hanging out here, dude? This is creepy as hell. That's what you called me, didn't you? And who are you? Oh, just shoot him. Name's Vincent. Don't forget it, okay? I'm on your side. Well, so you say. But how do I know you're not with her? Her? You mean Claudia? Please don't lump me together with her. She was totally brainwashed by that crazy old hag. I guess... Crazy old hag is a bit harsh. She was your mother, after all. My mother? What do you mean? Oh man, I missed the plot thickens. Don't remember? Oh, so Harry didn't tell you anything. I guess he hid the truth to keep you on his side. And that big He's a pretty sneaky guy. Don't talk about my dad like that! Sorry. I apologize. Harry never came across as sneaky in the first Please, game. Calm down. How do you know my father anyway? I know everything. I know about your past, too. Then tell me what's going on. You don't know even that? That's why I'm asking. If you know everything, then tell me how I can put an end to this. Not yet. Why not enjoy yourself a bit longer? Enjoy? I feel like I'm going crazy. Doesn't this place get to you at all? Oh, it gets to me all right. I find it most. You have a katana and a shotgun. Just shoot him. Wait. I'm not finished oh, talking. What the hell is he going to do? He knew you were on her side. How do you figure? Something is wrong with you too. No, oh, what is this? Oxidol, health drink, and first aid kit. So, what is Oxidol? It foams when you put it on. Okay. So, it's like hydrogen peroxide then. Okay. Okay, so now I'm a little bit confused here. So, okay, 
Now, what if I go back in this room? Oh, that weird guy's in there. So, I have to go back here. Apparently, according to my walkthrough, I'm supposed to go back to the first floor. Oh, what is this? Get off of me, creepy guy. Oh, and dogs too? What is this? I am not up for this ridiculousness. Okay, so it looks like I just need to go to the first floor. thing is, but I'm not sticking around to find out. What is that noise? Clearly an enemy there. Oh, you just take the pork liver, okay. Some of those things. What's it doing? It's like right in my way. Don't want to engage in melee with it. handled that pretty well actually I actually was hoping I could avoid killing that thing but kind of got in my way there the shotgun is actually pretty useful it was kind of iffy in the other games in the first game it was actually pretty good in the, in the second game it was powerful but it just had such it had weird animations to it and I generally avoided it I guess I have to go to the fifth floor. Because I, I, I don't know why I had to grab a pork chop. That's what happens when. So sometimes what happens when you have a, uh, a walk through. And I'm mostly following it. Um, it's helping get through this easier rather than a bunch of time spent with me just sort of wandering around. And this is a pretty good game. Uh, I'm actually enjoying it. That's a big hole in the wall. Or not, I don't in the wall.
Okay. Handgun bullets. And a matchbook. <laughs> no more cigarettes for me. I quit for good. You're 17, Heather. How would you even get that? Actually, hold on. Let's look at my ammo situation here. I got full... You know what? I think I'm going to have the handgun out. Health looking. Eh, still looking pretty good. Oh, sweet, a save point. This is the alternate gallery, it looks like. says gallery so hold on according to my walkthrough I need to so I need to Combine these three things and use them. The oxygen foams, okay. It's just a door. Hold on. I want to see if I can't do a little bit of exploring in there. What is this? Oh, what is that? It just like runs up and just like nails me. Okay, well, that's, this is too many enemies. Okay, camera angle.
Oh, jeez, come on. Stay bad. Come on. That was just too many enemies all at once. And I think there might be more. My walkthrough says here, don't actually go through any of the doors I unlock. But what happens if I go through the door? Dog, what is this crap? Did I make it to the end of the hallway? Don't need any more coins. I got a coin. Thursday, not kind of thirty. So, why would you put a key in there? I got a life insurance key. I do not like these monsters.
come on, so it just leads back here. Why couldn't I just cut across? I'm confused, I had to go all the way around. So I apparently have to go back to the first floor now. That's the insane cancer that I killed. That's probably the reason why I have a walkthrough. Because otherwise I'd never get anywhere. Come on! Noise. There was some monster, apparently.
Okay. Okay, so if I hadn't been using a walkthrough, if I had gone here, there would have been a monster or something that would have killed me. And that fairy tale was the entire purpose of going around there to read that little spell. Okay. There was a time here. I think the next save point. That's the one I was just in. is all blocked off. Oh, so now I'm outside. You know, that's a that is a street lamp. That should be putting off some light, I would imagine. Or just a big tarp. This is their version of outside. <laughs> Very dark. That's not my place. Okay, so now I'm finally in the apartment building. That's not my place. That's not my place. That makes more sense than just all the locks being broken, actually. Okay, so now I'm at the apartment, hooray! So now Heather is home. Oh. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Oh, man. No! Oh, no, he's no! dead. Her dad is dead. And that's Harry. That's Harry Mason from the first game. Okay, if I find a save point, I'm going to end this here. Oh, there's a blood trail. She's following the blood trail. Do this? No, Vet. But why? Why? 
Just shoot her. Just shoot her, you have two guns. There is another reason to fill your heart with hatred. Just pull out the gun it any must be this way. Any one of the guns you have or the weapons. No, I'll never understand. You must try to remember me and your true self. There you go. He's the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, what will you do? Shoot you in the face. I'll be waiting where all begins. Okay, so this is, a, this is probably a boss fight here. Not something I wanted to do. I might just get out a gun and uh, shoot this dude. And I'm hurting, of course. Yeah, just because uh, you have blades and such. Uh. Oh, you. I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. I'm fine, so just get out of here and leave me alone already! Calm down. I just... Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? My father is dead! He's murdered! Get out! This is all your fault. If it weren't for you... I'm sorry. Then go! To make you feel better... What else can I do? 
There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh. What do you do now? Yes, what will you do? I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? Something. I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How are you going to get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. Oh yeah, cause just, I don't need just drive you to Silent Hill, that's normal. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. Me? I could totally eat something in a situation like that. Oh, is this Heather's room? Stun gun. She had her own bathroom? Yeah, it's a nice apartment. Save point, here we go. But yeah, gonna save. A lot happened this episode. Gonna be heading to Silent Hill here soon. Uh, soon. I actually think I'm getting towards the end of the game here. But, uh, yeah. That is episode 5 of my full playthrough of Silent Hill 3. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. It'll be up in a couple days. Uh, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see all of you next time.